Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the last day of Vlogmas. You got it right. I have to admit, I feel a little bit sad about it and can't quite put a finger on it, what it is. Like, it's kind of like a mix of nostalgic feeling and the fact that I feel like we have such a closer than ever relationship this month. Is it just me or do we all feel the same? Let me know. Anyway, what I wanted to say is that today started really crazy. It's already 12, but I had actually my therapy this morning session, so I couldn't really tune in. And then I also had a little packing session this morning. I still haven't packed. It's 12. I leave at 6. I have to pack and I have to film at least one sit down video while vlogging. So it's a bit of a crazy day. On top of that, like my sister has been texting me nonstop with like numerous different things that I need to do. And I just had to like, it ended with me telling her two minutes ago, not today. <laughs> not today please because i guess like everybody's been getting tired now of me vlogging every day and putting like importance on vlogging over anything else so i don't really like get to speak to people on the phone i don't really get to you know like spend time in that way with family and friends as i would normally like spend hours talking or just like enjoying now i'm like mainly talking to you guys a little bit more than not if that makes sense because even when i'm not talking to camera i'm doing other stuff like administrational stuff like packing tidying like you know doing things behind the scenes that yeah so right now also what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get some stuff around yesterday i got a new book by the way i got a book from xenia i'll show it to you she says it's her favorite book and it's called the midnight library so that's the book i also got a coloring book first she gave me this one she said because philip always jokes about me like if i ask for a book he's like here's a coloring book for you he got an extreme sudoku for his holidays and guys we got animal pens how cute is this also, a really, really cool Christmas card from the show. Love it. So, anyway, I need to pack also books. I still have to pack sunglasses, underwear, jewelry, books, electronics. And I need to film my best and worst purchases of 2023 video before I pack. Because a lot of things are already packed. So, if I already pack it, how can I then show it to you? You know what I mean? Because, of course, I'm going to bring some of my best purchases with me. Yeah. So, let's get going. So, since today is one of those days when I basically started vlogging so late, I really need to salvage this day. Not only I started vlogging, late. I need to pack. I need to film two videos and I have numerous calls, meetings and I have, yeah, I just had my therapy basically. So what I'm gonna do, a lot of you have actually noticed new bags in my background throughout this vlogmas and it's for something that I really wanted to show you but then the vlogmas happened, then we couldn't kind of work it out in which video to insert it and since today's vlogmas is the last one, I want it to be extra long for you guys to enjoy it and <laughs> for that reason, and while I go and pack a little bit and while I go and film my what I got for Christmas video I will be showing you I'm not gonna show you because I will insert now unboxing and a small little review that I did this month for a brand called Song One and I'm really really happy to share that with you because actually some of you have spotted the bags in the background and asked me how would I wear the bags what do I think about them and this month I really tried to kind of introduce you to some of the new brands like I worn a lot of like different brands as well that I don't necessarily always wear or like I try to kind of discover some new brands that I feel like are really good price versus quality ratio so without further ado I'm gonna go film my video and I'm gonna let you watch a song month segment which is all about these bags that I think will trust me in 2024 be all over social media so enjoy guys okay I wanted to show you a package that arrived in post you might have already seen it lingering in the background so i wanted to finally unbox it because i got a special delivery from song Mont, and it is a brand that does beautiful pieces i literally looked at the lookbook and i couldn't decide between all the beautiful bags that they had now we all know that like this whole quite luxury or like sort of like less is more minimalist approach to fashion is like really really popular i personally don't mind you can call it whatever you want we all know what it means both you and i and i really like that approach to fashion which is a little bit more like discreet but really beautiful and well thought of design i think that's the really key to most of the pieces now, i wanted to show you the bag that i chose after carefully looking at the lookbook now i picked the, their like very very well recognizable luna bag and uh, i'm gonna assemble it together i'm just opening it up as you will understand it's like shaped like a moon 
which I think this is a very very popular shape of bag at the moment and like I said I can't really decide so I ended up picking two okay they're two different sizes they're made of eco leather and as you can see I just really like this color though I have to say it's kind of like a warm neutral color so let me show it to you what you can do with these Luna bags now I want to show you exactly how this slides and this slides here so that you can have your bag how cute is this now I love this style of bag because it just is perfect for what I need I'm gonna now put together the other the bigger one as well so oh this is so beautiful okay it's really funny because I don't have actually a bag in this color I say that I know you might think that's not possible but it's kind of like it's not a white it's not a beige it's not a gray it's like really warm nice Color. and also on top of the handle that you can see you can also put a longer shoulder strap which I personally think it can be quite useful especially for day-to-day -day activities so it comes with a shoulder strap but I would personally like to wear them like this I really like this also padlock that is on top of the bag bag opens magnetically as you can see so inside it still has all the paper and it's pretty spacious wow there's also a pocket at the back I always like to see a little pocket and then it closes like this then there's like a very kind of discreet logo here and in fact it would even go well with this outfit so yeah that's what I was telling you like super thoughtful design I like the premium craftsmanship it feels really beautiful like when you're handling the bag it's just like there's something about it and maybe it's the fact that it keeps the shape that obviously it's like good materials and craftsmanship is always very very important one thing that I like haven't fully told you so there are so many different ways you can carry this bag besides the shoulder strap that I've shown you so you can carry it like this hold on okay that's one bag then you can carry it like this hold on I'm trying to be as innovative as possible so look at this that's another way so like you just carry it like this this is the bigger version okay so we also have the smaller version as well you can carry it how I've initially shown you obviously this also you can kind of put as you wish and then you can carry it with the shoulder strap which I think is really brilliant and that's like a very innovative design I always fall for things like this because I think it's quite nice to have something that just gives a little bit more when it comes to design so let's open this up so easy also I think like when things are easy it makes so much difference for me because I don't want like something that's too complicated to look I'm not even really cutting this part and you see how fast it is to actually open it up to put the strap through you don't want something that is too time consuming and in this vlogmas I actually decided to introduce you to new brands the brands that you haven't heard before because you guys told me throughout the Black Friday segment that you guys liked learning about new brands and getting to know discover the new pieces new products products that you haven't heard about before so I'm gonna go and put a cute little outfit to show you different ways of how I style my new song on bags for me personally this is so perfect and so practical especially if I'm going like on a brand trip and things like that because it's very discreet beautiful and luxurious this one still has paper inside this is the smallest version one let's take the paper out so just to show you the vibe you can also have this one like this how cute is this right so anyway just wanted to show you bits and bobs guys are you ready now you know how much i love neutral colors obviously clearly now that you've seen the, my new bags i am wearing a total kind of almost monochrome look i wanted to style it because i want to take a picture in the mirror i'll show you what i'll do so Two versions. Wait, I need to center you guys better. We have this outfit. There is a possibility of wearing the sneakers. And then, if you want to go for something more casual, you can do like this. Hold on. Beautiful, neutrals, casual. You can even wear two bags because why not? Especially when they're dissimilar. And then everything kind of comes together. Hold on. We'll do this. And this one second job and actually I think this is quite innovative and cute could be like even a fashion week type of styling 
So crossbody if you want, or you know, obviously shoulder bag if you want, or the other option is this. And this I think is my favorite, I especially love the tiny version. I could also put it on my shoulder, but obviously you guys know that there are so many ways to wear this. I think this is quite cute, quite modern. What do you guys think? Do you prefer the smaller or the bigger version of the song mom bag? I'm very curious. Super, super cute. So adorable. And I think like this fits quite a nice amount of stuff inside. Look at the interior. It's like this light green color with the pocket. Wallets, sunglasses, phone, all the necessary bits. The suit I'm wearing is the Wardrobe New York City collaboration with Hailey Bieber. I'll bring it down. So you guys can see what I'm wearing and uh, I'm wearing the Miu Miu shoes actually. What do you guys think? I have to wait for you guys I to unbox these. And now I'm gonna tidy this space up. You guys like me in these neutral colors or do you prefer when I'm wearing darker colors? Because I'm quite indecisive. Like basically, initially, I wanted to get the Song Mom bag in, I think, black. They have so many different colors, by the way. I'll insert some of the pictures of different Luna bags that they have. But then I went for this one because I don't have any bags in this color. I thought that was quite cute. So that's that. Now I'm gonna go change back into what I was wearing because it's a bit weird that I'm like in a full on suit at home. If any of you are interested, and I'm sure many of you will be, I will leave a link below for the Songmon Luna bags. And also in case, I'm gonna try and get a discount code. If I can have a discount code, I will put it on here so you guys can hopefully get some discount because I think they're like really, I wish you could touch them. I wish you could like feel every single detailing because the truth is they're so well made. Every little corner, like I've told you how easy it is to kind of like assemble and disassemble and change things up. And I think that's a huge priority for me when it comes to bags. Just so beautiful. Love this. Okay, let's get moving. So I really hope you like that. I really like these bags, both of them. I couldn't really decide between the two sizes. I don't know what you guys think. Do you have preference when it comes to sizes? Actually, if you think about it, they go really well with this Kate knit as well. But I just like these kind of neutral colors. I'm really, really getting into that vibe. So I really believe that Songmon and the Luna bag will be huge in 2024. Guys, honestly, I created so much mess around me, as you can see a little bit, and I don't understand how. First things first, I'm leaving in three hours time. This is already stressful. I filmed in this corner, which I felt like, why not? I'm not gonna have Christmas tree in the background for like, you know, long time now. However, it's the loudest corner of my house. So that means that it was a nightmare to film here because I had to like stop every time someone decided to show off the sound of their very fast car. And besides that, I filmed what I got for Christmas video because ah! And also while I was filming it, Filippo interrupted it because he was like, I have another gift for you this Christmas, which you will get in Dubai. But he was like, I don't know how to decide. Should I get it or should I not? And now I'm like in conflict and I'm texting all of your friends. And so I'm like, I'm just filming what I got for Christmas video. I already got my gift and it's here and I've just unboxed it. So yeah, anyway, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I got so much mess here that I need to tidy. I need to pack my beauty, hair tools, underwear, sunglasses, jewelry, electronics, hand luggage, bags, see what I mean and I'm leaving in like two and a half hours I am beyond stressed but when I'm so stressed like this and like stuck for time I feel like procrastinating instead so I mean it's a very 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 productive day but vlogging wise it's just really not going well also this is probably one of the well you will see it in what I got for Christmas video but I'm not gonna be vlogging here because obviously we're leaving honestly guys I don't know how to even fix this whole situation I am beyond yeah fixable also what definitely doesn't help is that I created also mess here because I was trying to create some more content so let's try and tidy one room at a time and then then we need to pack and then I need to decide which bags I want to bring with me and I need to decide so many different things and I don't know where to start this is what I mean when I'm like less productive, when I'm so overwhelmed. But I just know that the best way to start when you have so many things to do is just to do like a step, okay? So the first step for me is to stop talking to you guys and to actually start doing something else. And I mean by something else, I also need to decide. I think I definitely need to bring this bag because I love this bag so much. Anyway, we need to decide what we're gonna pack with us. This is also pretty festive and pretty genius. And I also really love my Ferragamo new Wonder bag. I just wanna bring everything everything talking about bringing everything i mean my suitcases are pretty full this is like embarrassing just to tell you something my dad would be so upset if i travel with too much luggage and overpacked but it is what it is right now this is the only way forward okay i think this one is done because also did i forget something 
also would like to bring this one because I love it it's quite summery I also would like I mean I would like to bring all my bags but that's not really quite possible also the new one that I got also the croc one because where do you wear like an alligator bag but in Dubai right it's like the most perfect place okay should I travel with this as a hand luggage I think so because it's quite light fits a lot but I really love my Chanel vintage one for travel because it fits also a ton of stuff also what should I travel in do I travel in a coat not really right because if i travel in a coat i'm gonna be very hot when i arrive right you know what i'll tell you one very honest thing like from a friend to a friend okay because we are friends i have major fatigue when it comes to packing i'm just packed out okay blame it on work blame it on this whole year blame it on whatever you want to blame it on but i really feel like packing and i i cannot I just cannot pack anymore. Why did I put a hanger as well? This is a new top that I really want to wear over there. I also know that I want to bring this my new blazer, the white one, and it's already like a crease because of course some days like I'm sad flying with Philippe. I'm happy that I have him as a plan B, but I'm sad because he really is helpful, very helpful when traveling together. And also loafers. I want to bring my two tam jeans. You guys know these jeans. One of my favorite jeans that I own. I haven't had a chance so what I wanted to do today is go for a Brazilian wax. I already discussed this before. I actually have done laser hair removal and I'm very happy with it but I also go before I go for like I also, before I go for summer holidays, I go for like a wax because then you just like don't even have to think about like a single hair, like you're like a baby, okay? And I wanted to go for a wax and I wanted to go for a pedicure. But then, so these were my options, okay? Go for your beauty treatments or film two videos for you guys so that I don't have to stress when I'm there and I don't have to miss an upload or something like that. So I chose you. <laughs> I chose filming content because I feel responsibility towards in that sense when it comes to my job so I am going with a nasty pedicure I mean it's not nasty but you know what I mean like it's not like a fresh pedi which I'm very annoyed about and so tomorrow when I arrive I'm gonna have to hunt down a pedicure place because I actually do have believe it or not I know this is very weird I actually do have a place where I go for a pedicure in Dubai but believe it or not when I checked the place they were like fully booked until the end of the year so then I was like well that's great right I'm not even gonna comment I just need to figure out if I can fit everything that I I need three suitcases. It is what it is. I definitely want to bring these trousers. These are from the row that I bought in sample sale. I'll link them below as well because they're insane. What's really good about summer clothes though is that you can really squeeze it in. What's not good about this suitcase is that it still needs to fit my beauty like bag, as in my makeup and as in my non-makeup, the one that is like skincare and all of that good stuff. So okay, guys, I think we're 95% done with the packing and and currently I need to just change into my travel outfit that I have no idea what it's gonna be. I also need to pack my handbag, part of the hand luggage, but two suitcases are already at the door. Uh, I don't know if you can see them, but there they are, you see, there. The hand luggage is basically packed like the trolley. It just needs to be closed and I need to pack that bag that I told you about, but we have like 39 minutes left. So I think like that's pretty reasonable. I'm very proud of myself on how much I've achieved today, considering that I filmed those two videos that I wanted to film and didn't really managed to vlog as much as I would have wanted to vlog today but at least you know you guys have some content right when I filmed one of the videos today which was what I got for Christmas video I got a little bit emotional the thing is though you'll see it you'll see it tomorrow because tomorrow there'll be a video right and I don't know why I feel like now I've vlogged for 24 days and I feel very honest with you guys and I feel very confident to really show my true self because you know people that don't like me will not like me and I'm like old enough and confident enough to not have an urge anymore to try and make them like me. I also know that people who love me really love me so beautifully and give me so much support and kindness that by not giving them my old self, 
I'd be doing injustice towards them. So I think that also the fact that like if I'm being my 100% self, right, and someone doesn't like me, then they really don't like the true me. You know what I mean? But if I'm like not giving you my whole self and someone doesn't like me, it's like, or someone likes me, it's kind of like everything is weird and wrong. You know what I mean? So right now, <laughs> I really want to give you my 100% self and I feel like really opening up for several reasons. First of all is I was saying that in tomorrow's video, I get a little bit more emotional and I don't know why but I'm always embarrassed and this is something I also speak <laughs> about in my therapy I'm always embarrassed when I get emotional it doesn't matter if it's tears or if it's like uncontrollable laughter I get embarrassed because I was taught by my parents that you should always a little bit control your feelings and be in control of how you feel because if you're not in control it means you're kind of a mess you know and that's something I'm trying to also like release from I don't want to be like shy or embarrassed if I feel vulnerable or if I feel sad about certain topics you know what I mean so that's for anybody out there who feels the same way that I feel I just wanted to let you know it's okay to feel emotional it's okay to from time to time be a mess like I just always felt you know like when you have like someone in the class for example in school and they like start crying uncontrollably and they storm off everybody's like <gasps> I would never be that person no matter what happened I would always try and keep the steel front you know I think that's like just how I was raised I kind of blame my father a little bit for that because my mom did teach me to show my feelings but again not overly or like hysterically as people would say then my father was always saying that you need to be very like you know he also was a student of China where he learned to in that culture was very different where people were a little bit more controlling of their feelings but anyway that's not what I wanted to say what I wanted to say is that I'm feeling very emotional and very sensitive to and also one of the reasons is that as you guys know I'm leaving and Filippo is coming later on he's joining me later on and I am <sighs> I'm sad. I'm sad that I'm leaving him behind, even if it's only for three days. And I only can relate to last year's Vlogmas when I was leaving him in Miami and he was coming back two days later. I don't know why. But we just spent so many days in December together. And it's just so beautiful to have him around. For me, I feel so blessed and so privileged. And I want to tell you one story. Now, I want to recommend you two TED Talks to watch. So one is about self-control. I've recommended it before on my channel. It's nothing new, but in case you are new, go and watch it. This is something that I use a lot for this discipline in my life and my career and in every aspect of my life but my personality is such that I'm a little bit control freaky okay so <laughs> the first TED talk that I'd like to recommend you is from professor Dan Ariely and it's on self-control it's a TED Duke or something like that I don't know anyway so go and watch that after this video of course you have to finish this video first I mean it is last vlogmas and then there's another video of his I'll try and like find a link for it to put in the description box below but it's also Dan Ariely I love the way he speaks first of all and and it's about finding a right partner and why it's so hard in today's time and day of dating apps and everything else I don't know like everything basically to find the right partner and he is saying that a big problem on these apps is the fact that we constantly think no matter who we meet comes first problem or a first fight we think hold on maybe there's something better out there for me and we live in a generation where when something breaks we don't fix it right we are throwing it away and replacing it and we do same to our partners we meet someone and like the first problem arises we try to go back on the app or whatever you know dating bar whatever it is and we keep searching for a new person and uh, I think that's such a valid point because my little advice to anybody who's searching for a partner is to make sure to find someone who ticks your big boxes not who ticks your little boxes so we have the big boxes which are for me for example loyalty honesty giving me my freedom trusting me etc and the little boxes like will buy me flowers or will open the door for me this is not like a big box for me you know if he doesn't open the door for me I'm not gonna flip out but I do like it right so I think you should not let someone who buys you flowers or open the doors for you or me in this case become my main focus if he's not ticking the other boxes like loyalty giving me freedom not trusting me etc I've done that in the past and it was like a big 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 mistake where you choose someone for ticking little boxes and you forget all about the big boxes you know so that's thing number one and thing number one with why I 
I'm so emotional about like in general Filippo and my relationship this is just how I feel at the moment I mean not at the moment right now but like in my relationship currently I always say I'm so grateful for what it is right now because you never know what future brings and I watch so many story times of people who were in extremely happy relationships and then in the future you know things can happen people get sick we change grow in different directions etc and it's just nothing is for granted not even you think that like I don't know someone is the biggest love of your life and then you understand that maybe I don't know what but one thing that I have to say that I've never experienced in my life before that I had right now is I always say this as an anecdote even if Brad Pitt would approach me now I would be like I'm so sorry I'm with Filippo because I'm so sure and certain in my choice currently even when we have like a fight or like even when we which is quite rare as Filippo said but you know of course it happens like I'd be lying to say that like I don't annoy him sometimes or that he doesn't annoy me sometimes and even in those occasions I never think that there's something out there better for me because I genuinely think I found most compatible person for myself how crazy is that and that I wish to everybody out there and that's something that I'm so grateful for and something that gives me a lot of confidence because like it happens that I'm like in a restaurant or whatever and there's like a guy staring at me or like uh, you know it happened to me also in the past that like let's say someone I was discussing this with my best friend actually we were somewhere and there was like someone kind of famous ish let's say staring at me or at us I don't know I wouldn't want to say me I'm not that kind of girl that's like oh he's staring at me or whatever like you know my friend noticed it and I was saying like wow this is so crazy because this guy I don't know if he's taken or not or whatever like you know but he probably knows that I'm taken and he thinks that there's a chance like I wouldn't even give a time of the day to anybody because it's not just about like knowing that like Filippo is loyal to me and that like we have this relationship it's also about me not having the need and having the peace in my head Head because I don't even need to think about anything else that's out there and that's something that I think is the most priceless feeling in the world and what for me is extremely important in a relationship that peace and that satisfaction because honestly in today's day and age to not look out of the window and to think maybe there's something better for me is the goal yeah just wanted to say that so I've been talking a lot <laughs> I don't want to miss my airport pickup so let's go change let's close the last bag and let's get going and honestly okay it's kind of grown on me at night it's really really cute okay guys we made it to the airport not just at the airport but to the lounge I have to be honest I was starving so I took something this is uh, fried polenta sticks rice broccoli and some crabs with ricotta um, bechamel sauce kind of situation so gonna quickly eat now have a look at a few things and then we're gonna be boarding straight from the lounge and that's what i really like okay guys just got on the plane i think we're a little bit delayed i'm not sure but Okay, I need to take this off because otherwise I speak too quietly. I think we were supposed to take off like 20 minutes ago. No, uh, 15 minutes ago we were supposed to take off. So clearly we're a little bit delayed, but it's okay. It's 9.45 now. I am going to sleep most definitely because at one point, guys, I was at the lounge, I was eating, as you guys could have seen. And after I ate, I was like nodding off watching <laughs> some stuff online. And basically, Filippo called me and he was like, Tamara, you're sleeping. You're going to fall asleep at the lounge. You're going to miss your flight because like the boarding is straight from the lounge. I was like, oh, of course, I'm not going to fall asleep at the lounge. But yeah, what can I tell you? Anyway, let's see what's on I want to see entertainment please thank you very much let's see movies I mean I'm definitely gonna sleep because <gasps> are you wait where did you go I've been really wanting to watch the Barbie movie guys I haven't seen it I've been dreaming to watch Barbie movies so I was actually going to listen to some music and meditation and just sleep but now this is my unique opportunity guys what shall we do how long is the Barbie movie let's see it is 118 minutes, so two hours out of the six that we're gonna be flying. So it means I'll be flying, I'll be sleeping for four. But then tomorrow I can really take it easy because when I arrive, yes, my sister and her family is there. So obviously I want to see them ASAP. But maybe I'll see them in the morning if my room's not ready, and then I can still nap all of the afternoon. You know what I mean? Barbie movie it is. I choose Barbie. guys we're about to land in exactly 17 minutes i slept you know how i really wanted to watch the barbie movie i started watching it i think i watched like first half an hour and that was it i just fell asleep and it was the best i don't want to say it was like a night sleep because yes it's already morning but it was like the best nap i'll definitely have to do catch up on sleep today throughout the day which is okay also sorry for my appearance i over moisturized like over over 
one wrong wish tries. But on a second thought, is there such a thing as a wrong wish tries and does that even exist? Guys, as you can see, we have arrived. Look at this view. I mean, how blessed am I? I actually am very blessed because my room is almost ready. We are staying at Porsche Le Rav and the view here. I mean, I was not aware how beautiful it is. Uh, I feel like I'm on holidays now. Let's have breakfast. First things first, coffee. My coffee is already here. It's so funny and so weird for me to almost be finishing a day of Vlogmas with breakfast, but I'm trying to keep on holding on to you guys for as long as possible. This is the bread basket. Let's go inside and check out the buffet. Wow, I mean, is this insane? <gasps> Man, that looks delicious also. Wow, the pastries are like another level. Also, you guys know I love stuff like this. There's like a nasty ball. Wow, I don't know where to start. I'm not sure if I'm hungry yet though no, because yeah, I'm confused. I think, should I have this? I think i this. And then tomorrow this. Oh my god, guys, this. I can't. Like honestly, this is insane. There's literally everything. Everything you might imagine they have. Wow. Look at this, looks delicious. Guys, what a way <laughs> to end Vlogmas. Let me just tell you a few things. We arrived in the most incredible suite. I'm gonna show you in a second. It's so beautiful. You'll see, but first things first. So arrived in and like, honestly, the service here is so epic. I called the butler and I was like, please, could you help me maybe unpack my luggage? I have a call. So I jump on a business call and maybe like 20 minutes later, it calls me being like, Madam Kalinic, just one question. I cannot open one of the luggages with the passcode that you have provided me and i'm like don't worry i come upstairs thinking like of course it's gonna work i just probably gave him the wrong password maybe it's the other one you know i try everything not opening and he's like i mean our engineers can open it but i'm not sure it's still gonna be you know working afterwards and i'm like this is my brand new remote i don't want to break it just yet you know so i'm thinking like should i go and bring it this fully packed heavy luggage to the mall and ask remote to open it and i'm like oh let's try and pick the lock so i watched like every single youtube video that you can imagine on how to pick locks and i picked it pretty crazy so first things first i'll show you ah, look at this view guys i guess we're really in dubai huh look what these people are doing in the sea this is crazy so my sister is on the other side on the palm with her family over there which is really crazy because i can basically see them but this suite is huge okay and like the crazy thing is you can operate pretty much everything with a tv remote you can even open the door and got some lovely lovely welcome fruits here and a drink and welcome snacks it's my hand luggage stuff and then guys let's go upstairs so Beautiful, look at this. I feel like really holidays. I love when there's like a full length mirror just before you leave the house. So these are the luggages that are unpacked. This is the one that I was trying to open and actually I've just binned all of these little papers, you see? That is what I use to pick the lock. Now this is the bathroom. Look at this huge jacuzzi. They were telling me like, you know, when you want to have a bath, just text us after the dinner and we will make sure to prepare it for you. All the amenities are from Hermes. Look at this. Dun, da, da, da. Here as well here Terre de Hermes. so now we gotta unpack this one as well of course something spilled on my beauty bag some of my stuff is already unpacked here and this is the bedroom the bed is huge and looks so cozy especially now for me that i haven't actually slept last night over there is the pool i don't know if you can see and then there's also the way to the beach i guess which is over there it's so beautiful the view is just insane so since today is actually tomorrow of when i have started vlogging and as much as i don't want i think we have to finish this vlogmas here don't worry there's gonna be videos there's gonna be a video tomorrow and there's gonna be another one at the, before the end of the year so rest assured that's all good See, it looks so beautiful. Wait, let's sit down. I just wanted to say a few things before we end this vlogmas. I wanted to say thank you so much for the incredible mentions on Instagram, for every single comment, like, subscribe throughout this month. I... <sighs> 
I couldn't have wished for a better audience. I couldn't have wished for a better community, for more connected, relatable friends out there that I have. I feel that, you know, this channel is really the whole point of why I started posting on social media. It's like to create a community that can share different experiences and things and life experiences and uh, good and bad besides recommendations and travel and beauty and fashion and all of that stuff. Also some life stories and emotions. And that's what I've tried to kind of do in December. As you guys know, I haven't really planned much. I haven't really scripted not one single thing. Everything's been exactly like, you know, spontaneous. And I see See that you guys recognize that and that you enjoyed it. I've had a lot of questions telling me that is your most favorite vlogmas ever. I want to say thank you. Tomorrow you will watch what I got for Christmas. So thank you for watching and being part of all of this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How many times am I going to say thank you? But I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. So I'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.